Paul DeAnno, the original voice of Iron Maiden, is gone at 66, leaving behind a trail of broken dreams, shattered hopes, and a legacy that defined heavy metal's early years. His death is more than just the loss of a music icon. It's the final chapter in a life filled with pain, regret, and a brutal decline that fans never truly saw. Behind the powerful voice that fueled Iron Maiden's rise was a man haunted by years of health struggles, failed surgeries, and the cruel twist of fate that left him battling infections that his body could no longer fight. Confined to a wheelchair for over a decade, the Anno's last years were marked by an exhausting battle for survival. But his personal life was no less turbulent. Two marriages, both fraught with turmoil, couldn't provide the peace the Anno craved. The pressures of fame, combined with substance abuse and the chaos of life on the road, drove a wedge between him and the ones he loved most. His children, though kept out of the spotlight, were his only constant in a life that spiraled out of control. Yet even as his body failed him, DeAnno continued to fight, defying the odds to keep his music and spirit alive. Today, as the world mourns his loss, we look beyond the music to uncover the man behind the metal, a man whose life was filled with both triumph and tragedy, whose voice gave life to a genre, but whose personal battles ultimately consumed him. This is Paul Diano's untold story. Diano's death was the tragic culmination of a series of relentless health struggles that had haunted him for years. Once the unstoppable, electrifying frontman of Iron Maiden, a man whose voice ignited the band's early rise, Diano found himself trapped in a body that could no longer keep pace with his legendary persona. For over a decade, he was confined to a wheelchair the result of severe knee problems that stripped him of his mobility. What started as knee complications spiraled into something far more devastating, a cascade of surgeries that failed to restore his health and instead brought with them waves of new complications. Post-surgical infections began to ravage his already weakened body, setting the stage for a slow, painful decline. Infections can be a deadly threat, particularly for someone in DeAnno's state. With a compromised immune system and a body weakened by years of touring, substance abuse, and the inevitable toll of age, his condition rapidly worsened. These infections spread, further weakening his organs and sapping the strength that had once made him such a formidable presence on stage. His body became a battleground, each surgery bringing new risks, and each recovery period plagued by setbacks that seemed to push him further away from hope. As if these complications weren't enough, DeAnno's respiratory system began to fail. Respiratory failure occurs when the lungs can no longer deliver enough oxygen to the body's vital organs, a condition that can quickly turn fatal. For DeAnno, who had spent years battling lung-related issues as a result of his lifestyle, this was an uphill battle he simply could not win. The infections, immobility, and respiratory complications began to overwhelm him, trapping him in a vicious cycle of illness that left him gasping for air and clinging to life in his final weeks. In his final days, as his condition deteriorated further, DeAnno fought valiantly. Friends, family, and fans who knew him well spoke of his resilience, his refusal to give in despite the relentless pain and suffering. He still clung to the rebellious spirit that had defined his life and career, but his body could no longer match his will to survive. Respiratory failure, compounded by the severe infections coursing through his system, ultimately claimed his life. For fans, DeAnno's passing was a heartbreaking reminder of the brutal toll that fame, hard living, and decades of heavy metal life can take. Here was a man who had once commanded stadiums, whose voice had helped lay the foundation of one of the most iconic bands in heavy metal history, reduced to a frail shell of his former self. His death marks the end of an era for many who remember the ferocity of Iron Maiden's early years, a time when DeAnno's voice was the sound of a new musical revolution. Even in his suffering, DeAnno never stopped embodying the gritty, rebellious nature that had made him a metal icon. Fans will remember the triumphs of his career, his unparalleled contribution to Iron Maiden's early success, 
his solo efforts, and his lasting impact on the heavy metal genre. But his final years, marked by health battles and unimaginable pain, are a stark reminder of the human side of fame, the price that often comes with being larger than life. Though his body eventually gave in to the combination of infections, immobility, and respiratory failure, Deano's spirit endures. His voice, captured on legendary albums like Iron Maiden and Killers, will forever echo through the annals of heavy metal history. He fought till the end, but the harsh reality of his physical decline ultimately silenced one of heavy metal's founding voices. Paul Diano may be gone, but his music and his impact will live on, a lasting testament to a life lived on the edge, for better or worse. While Paul Diano's public image was one of raw aggression and defiance, his personal life was a far more complicated and tumultuous journey. Beneath the leather, tattoos, and fiery on-stage persona was a man who, like many, longed for stability and love. Diano's first marriage came at the peak of his fame, during the whirlwind years when Iron Maiden was becoming a global sensation. But fame often comes with a heavy price, and for Diano, the pressures of constant touring, relentless media attention, and the rock and roll lifestyle quickly took their toll. Substance abuse and the demands of his career created a rift in his personal life that he could never fully bridge. Despite his desire for a stable home life, the chaos that surrounded his career seeped into his relationships, leaving his first marriage strained and ultimately unsalvageable. Even as he battled his personal demons, Deano's heart still yearned for connection. After parting ways with Iron Maiden and navigating the challenges of a solo career, he entered into a second marriage later in life. By this time, the wild years of fame had begun to settle into a quieter phase, but his life was still far from peaceful. This second marriage, though less tumultuous than the first, was also not without its challenges. Health issues and financial pressures added strain to the relationship, but those who knew him best say that Diano found a measure of peace in this later chapter of his life. His second wife became a source of comfort, and despite the ups and downs, she stood by him through the difficult years of his health decline. Family, for Diano, was a sanctuary, even if he struggled to balance it with the demands of his career and lifestyle. He was the father of two children, and though he kept his family life largely out of the public eye, he often spoke of how much they meant to him. His children grew up away from the spotlight, shielded from the intensity of their father's public persona. But in his later years, Diano opened up more about the deep pride he had in their accomplishments. In interviews, he spoke of how his children became his anchor, grounding him during the many storms of his life. No matter how chaotic things became, his children remained a constant source of strength and motivation, particularly as his health deteriorated. As his career slowed down, Especially during his long battle with immobility and illness, the Anno focused more on his family. Though he had spent much of his life on the road, away from those he loved, the final years gave him a chance to reconnect and cherish the relationships that had sometimes taken a backseat to his career. His bond with his children became even more important as he struggled through his health challenges, and they provided him with the support he needed as he faced the realities of his declining physical condition. Despite all the chaos that had marked his life, Diano found solace in the love and loyalty of his family, a reminder that even the most rebellious rock star could find comfort in the simple, profound connections of those closest to him. Paul Diano's lifestyle was, in many ways, the very embodiment of the wild and reckless sex, drugs, and rock and roll mantra that came to define the heavy metal scene of the 1980s. As the original frontman of Iron Maiden, he lived life in the fast lane, embracing the excesses that came with rock stardom. Stories of Diano's legendary partying, substance abuse, and his all-out approach to life are etched into the annals of heavy metal history. His fiery personality on stage was matched only by his off-stage antics, where alcohol, drugs, and the chaotic lifestyle of constant touring became a daily reality. Fans saw him as the quintessential metal icon, bold, brash, and unapologetically rebellious. 
But behind the facade of the hard-living rock star, Diano was slowly spiraling into a dangerous cycle that would have long-term consequences. His years with Iron Maiden were marked by intensity, both in his performances and his lifestyle. The relentless pace of touring and performing took a physical toll on him, but in those early years, he seemed invincible. However, after leaving Iron Maiden in 1981, Diano's attempts to continue his career as a solo artist and with other bands were overshadowed by the unhealthy habits he had cultivated during his time with Maiden. Without the structure and success of Iron Maiden, the cracks in his personal life and health began to show. Diano's health started to visibly deteriorate as he continued to live in the same fast-paced manner. Despite his growing health problems, he remained active in the music scene, touring with various bands and launching solo projects. But the lifestyle that had once fueled his rise to fame began to catch up with him. The heavy drinking, drug use, and the constant wear and tear of being on the road took a massive toll on his body. By the time he entered his 50s, DeAnno was dealing with the long-term effects of years of hard living. His once dominant stage presence was now hindered by serious health issues, including severe knee problems that eventually confined him to a wheelchair. The partying lifestyle that had made him an icon of rebellion in his youth was now the very thing dragging him down. As he aged, DeAnno found himself battling not only the physical consequences of his past choices, but also the emotional and mental toll it had taken. His body, worn down from years of abuse, could no longer keep up with the demands of touring, and his health deteriorated rapidly. Multiple surgeries on his knees and legs left him unable to walk, and complications from these surgeries, including post-surgical infections, only worsened his condition. Despite his declining health, Diano maintained his rebellious attitude, continuing to perform when he could, even as his body struggled to keep up. But the years of excess had left permanent scars, and by his later years, Diano was a shadow of the larger-than-life figure he had once been. The man who had helped define the sound and spirit of Iron Maiden was now battling infections, respiratory failure, and immobility, the result of a lifetime spent living on the edge. In the end, Diano's lifestyle was a double-edged sword. It made him the iconic metal figure that fans adored but it also contributed heavily to his physical decline. His determination to live life on his own terms, to embrace the chaos and intensity of the heavy metal scene, was both his greatest strength and his eventual downfall. As his health worsened, it became clear that the rebellious, hard-living attitude that had once defined him had exacted a heavy price. Yet even in his darkest moments, Diano remained true to the image that had made him a legend, never backing down, never giving up, until his body could no longer take the strain. When it comes to financial success, Paul Diano may not have reached the heights of some of his heavy metal peers, but he still managed to carve out a respectable career that spanned decades. His early years with Iron Maiden were undoubtedly the most financially rewarding. As the original frontman of one of the most iconic metal bands in history, Diano helped lay the foundation for Iron Maiden's worldwide success. The band's first two albums, Iron Maiden and Killers, are still regarded as essential pieces of heavy metal history, and Diano's raw, aggressive vocal style was a key part of their appeal. However, after his departure from Iron Maiden in 1981, Diano's financial prospects took a hit. No longer part of a band on the verge of global stardom, he had to start over in many ways, embarking on a solo career and collaborating with various other bands. While he never again reached the commercial success he had with Maiden, DeAnno remained active in the music scene, constantly touring and recording new material. His rebellious, no-holds-barred attitude kept him connected to a loyal fan base, and he continued to make a living as a performer. In 2023, his net worth was estimated to be around $500,000. Though this figure pales in comparison to the fortunes of other rock legends, it speaks to DeAnno's resilience and ability to sustain a career in music, 
even without the massive machine of Iron Maiden behind him. Diano's financial situation was further complicated by his health struggles in later years. His severe knee problems and the subsequent surgeries not only drained him physically, but also impacted his ability to perform regularly, cutting into his income. The high cost of medical care, coupled with the challenges of maintaining a music career while dealing with chronic health issues, meant that Diano's later years were more about survival than financial prosperity. Despite this, he never gave up on his passion for music, continuing to tour and perform when his health allowed it. Beyond the numbers, Diano's real wealth was in the legacy he left behind. His contribution to Iron Maiden's early sound helped define an era of heavy metal that continues to influence musicians today. The albums he worked on with Maiden are still revered by fans and critics alike, and his gritty, unrefined vocal style is often credited as one of the defining features of the new wave of British heavy metal. Even after leaving the band, DeAnno's status as a heavy metal icon never truly faded. He may not have amassed a fortune, but he did achieve something far more valuable, eternal respect and admiration from fans around the world. Paul DeAnno's life was one of extraordinary highs and crushing lows. From the peak of fame with Iron Maiden to the difficult road he walked in the years after, his story is one of resilience and a relentless passion for music. His health struggles, personal demons, and financial challenges never fully eclipsed the impact he made on heavy metal. His voice, forever immortalized on those early Maiden records, continues to resonate with metalheads across generations. Even as his body failed him in his later years, the Anno's spirit remained unbroken. He fought through pain, addiction, and setbacks, always returning to the stage, always giving everything he had for his fans. His later life may have been marked by hardship, but it was also a testament to his resilience and love for music. To many, Diano will always be remembered as the voice that first gave life to Iron Maiden, but his legacy extends far beyond those early days. Ultimately, Paul Diano's story is a complex and deeply human one. A story of a man who lived without apology, who gave his heart and soul to the music he loved, and who, despite his personal struggles, left an indelible mark on the world of heavy metal. He may no longer be with us, but his voice, his spirit, and his influence will live on forever. As the heavy metal community continues to honor his memory, it's clear that Paul DeAnno's impact is far more significant than any dollar amount could ever represent. Rest in peace, Paul DeAnno. You may be gone, but your legacy will never fade.